In this video, I will show you how to annotate in Google Classroom. For this example, I'm going to choose the assignment that says Long A Practice. I notice that the teacher has given me an attachment. It's a Google slide. I'm going to open the attachment that says Long A. Now, instead of opening this attachment in slides, which would be the box with the arrow coming out at the top right corner, I'm not going to push that. I'm going to push the pen. On. That will take me to a different screen. Now I am able to annotate this document. I can zoom in or out using my two fingers until I can see the entire document. At the bottom I have a toolbar. I have an eraser, a pen, a crayon, and a highlighter. I also have the ability to type text if I needed to. So let's select the text and click on the document and I can type my name and then I can move it, get rid of the keyboard, I can move it so that it fits on the line. Tap off and it will stay. Looking at my instructions for numbers one and two of this assignment, I only have to read, I don't have to write anything. For numbers three, four, and five, it says highlight the word in each line that contains the long A sound. I'm going to choose the highlighter. If I click on the highlighter a second time, I can change the thickness of my highlighter. I can also change the color. For this example, I'm going to use green. Number three says mall, cat, snail, far. The word with the long A is snail. If I think that's too big, I can push the undo button at the top right, it's the back arrow, and that will take it away. I can click on the highlighter again and make it a thinner highlighter and try again. And maybe I like that better. At the bottom, it says directions, read the passage and circle the 10 words with the long A sound. I don't wanna use a highlighter for this. I wanna to change to the pen. I also wanna change the thickness a little bit and the color. I'm gonna stay with purple. I'm circling the words with the long A sound. The boy sat down at the table, table. And once again, if I don't like that, I can push undo. I can change the thickness and try again. I can also use the eraser and that will take away the pen. When I am finished, I'm going to push save. This will take the Google slide document and will turn it into a PDF. I'm going to push the X at the top left corner and I'm gonna go back to my Google Classroom assignment. It doesn't look like anything has changed, but if I push the up arrow at the bottom, I now have an edited PDF document. If I open that document, I can see the work that I did with the annotation. I'm going to push X, and when I'm finished, I will turn it in so that my teacher can see it. I hope this video was helpful. Please reach out with any questions you might have.